Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth Civil 4 for another weekly update. Uh, well, a lot of things happened this past week. Uh, first of all, Nino Kuni finished. Uh, and there'll be something related to that shortly, but Nino Kuni uh, Let's Play is, is done. Technically, I think there's one video I have to do left. One of the Tales of Wonder is still left over. But it's, it's done. <clears throat> and I'm very sad about that. Um... But, uh, yeah, Evil End 2 is still going on. I actually have to record more of that so that we can actually have it keep going. But, um, yeah, uh, Portal 2 is going to keep going, etc. Uh, this, the re for the rest of the month, I'm going to be taking off from starting any new Let's Plays. I'm just going to be finishing up old projects, as I've said a few times already. If you, any of you guys can remember any projects that I started or little side things, songs, parody videos, whatever, that I might have mentioned at some point somewhere... Um, if you want to bring that up with me, because I'm giving myself time to do that now. Uh, as I've also said, I'm going to try to finish Super Mario Bros. 3, which is actually a Let's Play that I started in 2011 that I never finished, because I realized I suck at that game, and I have never finished that game ever. I'd like to do that this month. Um, and, uh, there's a few songs I want to do, uh, some drawings I need to make, and preparations for my next main Let's Play, which will hopefully start, uh, at the beginning of January. So that's gonna be fun. Also, I have to finish up Evil Land too. Uh, so yes, so that's that's updatey updates um, for videos. So expect the next few weeks to be kind of eh. Um, but yeah, so I'm kind of taking off, but not really. You're still gonna see videos because it's really the only thing I do with my time aside from play video games outside of recording, and I do enjoy it a lot. And uh, I, I get very depressed when I'm not making videos, when I either can't because of chemo or just whatever reasons. So uh, I'm not stopping, uh, even if I'm taking a break. A break does not mean no videos because it's it's like not breathing. I want to say, I'm sounding like I'm a Let's Play fanatic. Maybe I am, I don't know. Uh, I've definitely been a lot more consistent than some people in general have been. A lot of people have been on the internet, but that's because I don't have a life. But anyway, on to the news. Nino Kuni 2 was announced yesterday. It's coming to the PlayStation 4, hopefully sometime next year. Uh, it's going to be made by Level 5, published by Bandai Namco in cooperation once again with Studio Ghibli. It's going to have the... Um, uh, uh, Yoshiyuki, um, I forgot his last name, who's the character design for, uh, Ghibli is gonna be coming back. Uh, Johisa Ishii's doing the music again, and it looks amazing! There was a trailer on the PlayStation Experience, uh, stream, and it's, you can find it online now. Nino Kuni 2, I think it's Revenant Kingdom or something like that. Ah, uh, man, I am so excited, and this is a sign from above, because I just finished my Nino Kuni Let's Play, and three days later they announced the sequel after how many years has it been out already? Three years it's been, two, two or three years it's been out, so, I mean, come on. Come on, guys. I'm magical. Also, what was announced, uh, is that Final Fantasy VII, uh, the PlayStation version was ported to PlayStation 4. That was announced a while back, but they actually released it yesterday. And when you buy it, it comes with a free theme. That makes sounds, and you can't really hear it, but it's playing Eris's theme. Bum, 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 ba, da, 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 da. Copyright. And it makes the sounds. Isn't that great? And there's a picture of Cloud there. And that's Midgar from the uh, remake. And I'm going to turn that lower before this video gets taken down by Square because they have done things like that to me. Not taken down, but my Final Fantasy VII Let's Play is full of content IDs. Uh, which is why I have the TV on. Usually I don't, but I really like that picture of Midgar. So uh, they released Final Fantasy VII port. They also released a up port of Dark Cloud, a 1080p trophy-enabled port of Dark Cloud, which I'm so excited for because... Level 5 is doing so much now. I mean, they've been doing so much for a long time, but they're doing so much now. Um, and I really hope that means that we're going to get Dark Cloud 2 sometime next year. Hopefully earlier next year, because Dark Cloud 2 is an amazing game. And um, that means we might even get a Dark Cloud 3 sometime soon. Uh, 
But yeah, so so it's 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 a uh, upres to 1080p from the PlayStation 2 version, and it has the trophy support, and it's gonna be great. I wish I could use my disc, but um, buying the uh, the uh, PSN version is gonna be the second best option. Uh, Nino Kuni 2. Oh, they also showed off footage of the Final Fantasy 7 remake, and I am so happy. I am so happy because they're not screwing it up. Uh, I was so against any sort of remake of Final Fantasy 7 for so many years because I, I, I knew that there was no way that they could make it look good and, and act good. And it's, uh, it looks like it's a combination, the styles are a combination of Kingdom Hearts and Crisis Core, which is exactly what I wanted them to do. I am so happy! Um, and it looks great. Look online if you if you didn't see it. Uh, the 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 newest trailer for Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, it has voice acting. It has a uh, has aside from like cutscenes and things. Barrett looks amazing, by the way. He his arm went from a like a machine gun to a Gatling gun, whole thing. It's kind of crazy. Um, but uh, so he uh, they're using the the Advent Children sprite for him probably or s sprite. Um, basis for him probably but uh so they uh uh they showed off cutscenes they showed off um uh just walking around Midgar and uh it's it's from a back perspective kind of like in uh, I guess Final Fantasy 13 which kind of had me worried but then I took a closer look and it's really not that much different from the Kingdom Hearts -y. I mean it's all really the same it's all Square's recent endeavors uh the battle system looks to be an active battle as opposed to turn-based and that makes sense because people don't seem to like turn-based rpgs anymore i don't know why but um it's uh you know they they uh, it was a perspective from the back and there was a, a menu attack item magic etc which means that it it could be something similar to kingdom hearts which if that is true i will explode because kingdom hearts is a very good battle style. Um, Crisis Core is also extremely similar to that, which is why I love that game too. One of the reasons why I love that game. And yeah, um, <laughs> the voice acting was good also, and um, they gave voice acting to the minor character. It just looked really, really good, and I'm excited now, and that's good because I really thought that they would just screw it up. I have recently I've discovered this feeling in the the deepest part of my heart. It's a chamber that Square Enix used to be in that's all full of cobwebs and destroyed dreams and it's it's starting there's a little candle was lit there. And that should be giving me heartburn but instead it's giving me hope. <laughs> Square Enix is coming home. <laughs> but seriously, <laughs> uh, I mean, we've had so much from them this year. We had the Final Fantasy VII Remake announcement at E3, first of all, which was... Then, uh, they, uh, I think they're doing Nier, uh, Square Enix is doing Nier also, right? With, uh, with Platinum, which looks like that should be amazing. I think Platinum is one of the best, one of the best developers, develop yeah, developers out there. Um... And now they they're bringing uh, Dragon Quest uh, seven and eight back uh, to the West on 3DS. Cloud is coming to Smash. And this and and the theme and it's exciting stuff. But above everything else is Nino Kuni two because I already knew about the remake and seeing the trailer just cementing the fact that I think it's actually going to be good. But Nino Kuni two came out of nowhere. And I'm happy because level 5 deserves everything that they get. They make such good s games. The, the, the Layton series and Yokai Watch and Dark Cloud and Nino Kuni and... Ah, oh, it's so good. And Bandai Namco is really doing a great job. And they should totally make another Katamari game. But uh, I'm thoroughly convinced at this point that the game companies do watch whatever I let's play. And as a basis for that, start developing... Um, uh, remakes and sequels because uh, just looking back at um, at my let's plays um, I let's played Mario Luigi Superstar Saga and then we got Dream Team and Paper Jam I let's played 
um, Luigi's Mansion, and then we got Dark Moon. Uh, let's play Final Fantasy VII, now we're getting the remake. Um, Katamari, I can't really say anything because uh, they didn't really make anything new, but technically I don't think that uh, Touch My Katamari for the Vita was out yet when I first did my Katamari Let's Play. Um, let's see, so I did Majora's Mask and then they started work on the remake for that. Uh, let's see, what else did I do? Sonic Adventure, I don't know what they're doing there. They just... <laughs> that Sega dropped the ball on that one. But Nino Kuni, we got a, a sequel to. Um, Kirby's Adventure, I can't really say. We're getting... Kirby's Canvas Curse was, was around the time that they announced uh, Rain the Rainbow Curse. So that was that. Uh... <laughs> Uh, did Breath of Death 7 and now Cosmic Star Heroin is, is, is being developed by uh, Z-Boyd Games and uh, that's totally because of me too. I did Evil Land and Evil Land 2 came out. So yeah, I'm magical. I'm lucky. Uh, what other Let's Plays did you do, Dovey? Paper Mario. I guess I did Paper Mario. Uh, not Paper. Yeah, I did Paper Mario <laughs> and Paper Jam is kind of part Paper Mario game. I'm gonna pretend it is anyway but yeah it's next year is gonna be a great year great year great year but anyway so uh, Friday was my birthday it was very very nice I turned 25 I am a quarter of a century old I'm old uh, but um I don't really have a birthday party because it was at the end of a chemo week. I was tired. We're hopefully going to have something this week. Uh, tonight starts Hanukkah. Hanukkah to people who can't do the kh sound. The diacritic H. It's an H with a little dot under it. Um, so it's, uh, tonight starts Hanukkah, and that's going to be running until next Monday night, eight days. Uh, Jewish festivals always start at the night and end during the day. Uh, they start it at nightfall. So gets kind of confusing because it, that it's usually a midnight thing with with everything else with uh, I would say everything else meaning American or Christian holidays or English dates in general but uh, Jewish dates uh, Jewish calendar goes from the night we have a um, mixture solar lunar calendar thing it's interesting <laughs> excuse me but um yeah, so it's gonna be fun, I got stuff and things, but yeah, so, uh, I'm just listening to, I, I turned on the theme, and it started playing Ares' theme, and I started crying, I started crying, it was great, I have to turn a little lower, because I don't want to get the content IDs from Square, I know they're watching, uh, but yes, so, I'll show off a few things, and I'll show off a few more things, and then we'll finish off here. Uh, so, first of all, Xenoblade Chronicles X came out last week. I only got a chance to start playing it last night because I ordered the, uh, special edition and that came tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon. That came yesterday afternoon. But it's cool. It came with a, uh, like this art print thing, which is actually really nice. Um, it's in like a little frame with a, there's a certificate of authenticity on the bottom. I have it upside down. Um, it's like a foam thing, so... I don't know, I guess it's to hang up or something, but it definitely looks really cool. Um, but yeah, so I've been, uh, let's see what else did we get from that. Main reason why I got it is the art book. I have gotten into a kick in buying collector's editions that come with art books. I'm kind of a sucker for them because they're just really cool. I love the concept art, and it usually helps me figure out just uh, ideas how to draw. Or just imagination I mean just just look at that how does that not spark your imagination it's beautiful really um, so yeah uh, it's just really cool stuff it's just really really cool stuff so I I was kind of iffy on on Xenoblade when I started it um, it uh, also it came with a uh, the soundtrack is on this uh, little 800 megabyte USB drive that has like a little light in it. I guess it's kind of like an aircraft carrier shape or something. I don't know. But uh, I was kind of iffy on the start because I didn't really like the, uh, maybe it's like a pod or something. Uh, I didn't really like the prologue until it turned to daytime and then everything was like, wow. But uh, yeah, 
to sum up what the game is, it's big. It's very big. And if you're expecting it to start off as bombastically as Xenoblade, you're going to the first Xenoblade, you're going to be disappointed. Um, it doesn't have the same synergy, especially since your character is a do-it-yourself character. So, like, you can choose different voice actors, which is pretty cool. There's, like, Yuri Lowenthal, and I chose a different guy who... The guy who voiced Igor in, um... In, uh... Persona 4. Um, which I probably should have gone with Yuri Lowenthal, but you can also go with Adam Howard? The guy who voiced Shulk. It's, like, listed classic. So it's kind of cool you could choose your voices. But you don't talk. It's kind of like the main protagonist in Persona 4. You only talk during battle... But during cutscenes and things, everyone else is talking, your character just goes. And you're given choices to answer, and it changes the dialogue options and stuff, but you essentially just go. And it's kind of annoying, because it's a break in the conversation, but um, it's, it's a very big game, and it took me about six hours to get to the point where the game says have fun and I don't necessarily consider that a bad thing because I like long games but a lot of people are gonna get turned off by that that we're able to just jump right into Xenoblade granted Xenoblade has its own prologue that takes a little while before you leave Colony 9 but it's not the same um, like New Los Angeles is a really really big place and I'm very happy they gave you a, a run toggle that doesn't have stamina but New Los Angeles is a very large place, and the world is just very large, and it takes a little while to figure out what the heck to do. Using the gamepad as the map is kind of annoying. The user interface people have been complaining about also, getting through the menus and stuff. Um, I don't have as much problem with that now that I've actually played it a little bit, uh, and I've gotten used to it, but it's jarring to start. Um, usually I like to just surf through all the menus and learn everything right away. I don't recommend that here. I recommend you do it as the game uh, introduces stuff to you. Otherwise, you're going to have no idea what you're, you're going through. Um, but yeah, uh, it's it's pretty interesting. Uh, it's kind of annoying that weapons are locked behind... Weapons and armor are locked behind level and class walls. Whereas in Xenoblade, you, as soon as you buy it, you're you know outfitted. But uh, I like the characters a lot. Lynn, I don't know if I want to punch her or uh, or she's the best thing ever. She scares me a lot. Um, Elma is very nice. Uh, I keep misreading her name as Elmo. And, uh, and Tatsu is good for Nopon, but he's not Ricky. But uh, that's all I've met so far. I got to the point where you meet Tatsu. That's where I finished off at the end of the chapter there. But uh, yeah, I do highly recommend it for RPG fans. It's really good. I'm enjoying the battle uh, style. It's a lot more active than um, than Xenoblade. You have like a primary and a secondary weapon. Your primary is a long range. Your secondary is short range, and you can switch between them. And I found out that if you press the button, uh, the switch button at the right time, you can just have an unending attack. Because when you have your gun, you go until your clip is empty. Then you have to reload and then get ready to fire again. Whereas with your knives or whatever, you you know, you and you have to wait for that to, you know, be able to do that. But if you switch your weapons at the right time, you could just go and it makes things go a little faster, but not that much. Um, your skills are set to your class as opposed to your character, you like your arts and things. And that's actually pretty interesting. Um, it's kind of jarring when you start over from a, like start a new class and all of a sudden you don't have any arts anymore um, but it's easy to upgrade them you can upgrade your abilities and uh, each character has their own you know different types of abilities and your main character has a movable class but the other people that you can put in your party and they're also very fluid who your party members are um, it's really less story and more preference uh, so they all have their own set classes so that, you know, you can mold it with your own particular style, I guess. Um, so yeah, I, I like the game. Um, there's a few things that are jarring because I loved Xenoblade Chronicles so much, 
but I can't say that it's bad in any way, shape, or form. Uh, and the the music is not Xenoblade's music. I there's something about Colony Nine and Gar Plains and and the uh, Satoru Marsh and uh, and and the, the woods and and everything. It's just there's something grand about Xenoblade's uh, soundtrack, but the soundtrack here is really nice too. It reminds me a lot of Crisis Core. Uh, there's certain tracks that sound kind of like the Burdened. There's certain tracks that sound kind of like its battle theme. The uh, the music for New Los Angeles, the like the just the regular music is very I don't know, jazzy. I don't really think it's jazzy, but um, it's very active. I like it, and I can it. I didn't get annoyed listening to it on end, which is very nice. And the music is just nice in general. So yeah, just my my brief thoughts on on Xenoblade. Uh, let's see. We also got uh, the anime crate came in uh, last week. Loot anime came with a uh, nice the uh, the Akatsuki shirt. I showed it off. You should watch the video because I'm not showing you anything here. Uh, the Poke crate also came in, and I got the Thunder badge and nice Raichu necklace and a bunch of other stuff that my brother has. But yeah. So anyway, last but certainly not least, birthday presents. Woo! Um, first of all, Christy sent me this, uh, Yoshi Gamer Girl sent me this, uh, last week for my birthday. It's a really nice poster of my winning team in, um, in, uh, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Versus with, with, uh, John, Mr. Waterwraith. Uh, she actually drew all the characters here. And it's really cool. I really like the Torterra, I especially like the Dovey Train, the, the Dovey Trainer. Um, I like Hawkeye there, and... Shadow and Doctor Who and Earth Demon and Shelly and Snowflake. So yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. I have no idea where this is going to go, but it shall go up somewhere. Also, she uh, sent me Hanukkah gifts. Uh, she said that um, I'm gonna save my little brothers. Yeah, she sent for me and my little brother. I'm gonna save my little brother for tonight when we actually uh, start Hanukkah. But she uh, asked. Or suggested I open this on uh, on uh, the video, so live reaction type of thing. But anyway, so yeah, da da da. da. No, I'm not gonna do that. But uh, I I took the liberty of removing the the front of it. Yes. First things first. First things first. It's a uh, primal Kyogre. I believe this was from uh, McDonald's. That she got for the. Uh, it's a it's a little water shooter. That's great. Uh, she got it, uh, when she was picking up Hoopa, I believe. But yeah, it's like a it's like a water shooter. That's adorable. <laughs> Primal Kyogre. Did I say Graviton? Kyogre. <laughs> That's fantastic. You can receive Hoopa in your Pokemon video game. Uh, but yes, yeah, so let's see. Tadovi. And badges. Wow, these are really nice, actually. Um, these are patches, patch badges. That's really, really nice. This is really good stuff. Really, really good stuff. Wow. I like it a lot. Very, very much so. Show my little brother after this. Also to Dovi from Ben and to Binyamin. Yay! So Binyamin will get that and he'll get his also Christy. I haven't given him his poster yet, but he'll get that too. But anyway, let's let's open these up. A little Hanukkah wrapping, isn't that nice? Uh so yeah. I'm very much looking forward to Hanukkah. There's gonna be a separate video about why I love Hanukkah so much. It's my favorite holiday, and it's not just because presents! Technically, that's really not a thing, but it just became a thing because people are nice and they just, I don't know, something about winter and presents, isn't there? Anyway, from, oh my god. It's, I've wanted to get this for a very long time, thank you. It is the, the Tyranitar family pin set from the Pokemon Center site. 
Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You are going to go up right next to Mega Tyranitar. Oh, that is wonderful. Oh, that is fantastic. If you don't know this about me, Tyranitar is my favorite Pokemon in the entire universe. The entire universe. I will always love him, I will never hate him, even though they gave him Sandstream when abilities were introduced. Tyranitar is the best thing ever in existence. Look at those. Oh my goodness gracious. They're like little clippy things, so I can put them anywhere. I'm gonna get my ears pierced and just get little Tyranitar earrings. That won't get me kicked out of my house. And the one from Christy feels like cards. Let's check this out. I don't know about you guys, I, I don't like ripping wrapping paper. I like undoing it at the tape. Is that just the thing that I do? It's not because I like to save it, it's just because, I don't know, someone put care into um, into putting the, uh, the gift together and it kind of seems, you know, mean to uh, un uh, unwrap it violently. You know, they, they put care into putting that whatever it is together. I don't wanna, I don't wanna just destroy it, you know? Of course, when the tape doesn't agree with you and the tape says, kill me, you sometimes have to oblige. But there's always a non-violent solution, mostly. Unless the tape sticks to the, uh, to the paper. The suspense. The suspense, Dovey. Just rip it open. No, I can't. Someone wrap this and I shall unwrap it. I shall not kill it. I'm not a murderer of wrapping paper. And we have here... Very nice training center card. Each stage one and stage two Pokemon in play. That's also a... Oh, these are Pokemon League cards. Look at that. Pokemon League... Reverse hollow, a warp point. That is nice. Tyranitar! Oh, it's adorable! Darkness Drive. After your opponent's Pokemon uses a Poke Power, you may search your discard pile for a basic dark energy and attach it to Tyranitar. Grind. Does 20 damage times the amount of energy is attached to Tyranitar. Spinning Tail, five dark energies. Darkness. <laughs> this attack does 30 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. That is a good Tyranitar right there. And the final one, no, not the final one. It's another Tyranitar. Oh, see this one is cute and this one is fierce. This one actually looks more like, like the original artwork. Tail Crush, flip a coin of heads attacks us 40 damage plus 20. Hyper Beam! <laughs> Discard energy attached to the defending Pokemon. That's pretty good for a Hyper Beam. Usually it's. Actually, no, it usually is to the defending Pokemon. And the final one. Eh, it's a Tyranitar EX! Hammer in 60 damage. Break ground, 130. This attack does 10 damage to each of your benched Pokemon. Oh, that is, that is wonderful. Oh. Oh, and I see. So, with Training Center out, Tyranitar would gain 30 health. <laughs> this Warp Point is just really nice. Wow. Fancy, fancy. Your opponent switches one of his or her defending Pokemon with one of his or her benched Pokemon. You switch one of your active Pokemon with your benched Pokemon, if any. That is cool. That is nice, thank you, thank you so much, wow. You know, I didn't have a lot of Tyranitar cards, and I don't know if I even had Tyranitar EX. One day though, one day I'll get that Mega Tyranitar out of the Ancient Origins packs. But anyway, I think I've used up enough of your time talking about video games and things. Uh, thank you so much, Ben and Christy. Uh, it really means a lot. It really does. This is just this is just amazing stuff. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
Uh, you make me happy. Also, thank you very much to John um, for the birthday present. He sent me a thing. I figure I may as well acknowledge you on video as I'm talking about presents. Um, and also, I just want to thank everybody who on Twitter or videos or whatever have wished me a happy birthday. It, it's really appreciated. Um, the birthday is a weird time for me because I, I love my birthday and I celebrate it and it, I share it with my grandmother, actually. Um, but um, just being sick um, for the past few years, uh, the birthday has been in a very uh, important time for me because it's it's kind of a you know a middle finger in the face of cancer saying ha ha ha. <laughs> I might have been I might have been what was it uh, 22, yep yeah, 22 when you got me, but now I'm 25. So screw you. And it's nice. It's very nice. So thank you all very much for for joining me. Also, the shirt. Did I show off the shirt? It's from T Turtle. Usually, I don't wear things that say like gamer or whatever, but but Sephiroth. It's also adorable. But yeah. So thank you all very much for just you know supporting me this past year. I mean, the year's not over. I'll have more to say at the end. But thank you all very much for supporting me. To all my Jewish friends and followers out there, Happy Hanukkah the uh, for the coming week. And uh, yeah. Here's to uh, here's to more awesome stuff in the future, and uh, for hopefully many more years. It's been Sephiroth so far with the weekly update. Goodbye, everybody. Bye bye.